I also have to say that uh, I love India so much that I, I just uh, chose to study the history and the political uh, aspects. And I have to say that, you know, from the Israeli perspective, looking into India, I, I, I see that ever since, uh, uh, you know, Prime Minister Modi that took the relations between Israel and India to the next level, but also ever since uh, BJP uh, came to power, there is uh, openness. And, uh, you know, as an Israeli, I see that India became a very, very strong country and uh, mostly respected. Because if I may say uh, carefully, comment on the uh, Indian National Congress that I think it was afraid that, uh, it, you know, it was led by fear in many cases that maybe we'll lose uh, Muslim votes, maybe the, they will not like us, maybe uh, secularism is the best. But what I like with uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is that he was like, we're going to lead India through strength, not fear. We're going to embrace uh, uh, religion. We are not going to attack any any religion, but we are going to fight for uh, for the safety and safeguard the the lives of, uh, of of Hindus, Christians, Muslims, as long as there is no radicalism. So obviously, it's um, uh, it's one of the reasons why Israelis love uh, Modi so much. I have to say why, you know, before we move to the next question, uh, you know, you ask why is India so valuable to Israel? You can see in uh, in the defense uh, aspect, you know, there is uh, the situation with uh, Kashmir. We in Israel are facing pretty much the same problem with the Palestinian conflict. Uh, Kashmir is Indian land. You cannot argue that Kashmir is historically India, you know, if someone comes to you and says Kashmir is Pakistan, this is a stupid people. You know, you cannot uh, argue that Kashmir is uh, is Indian. Uh, same thing with, that we are dealing with. We have Judea and Samaria that are claimed by uh, by uh, Palestinians. But uh, if you look at history, Jews were there. You know, uh, so you cannot argue with that. 